In today's video, I'm gonna show you a brand new super simple method on how to boost FPS on any PC. It literally doesn't matter if you're running a low end, mid, or high end PC. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm right now here actually restarting my PC. And now we actually need to go into the BIOS. So we have to press something like F12 for some people, it's also F9 or delete or whatsoever. It's gonna actually showcase here right now on screen what we need to press. But for me, I think it was F12. To get into the BIOS, you can see that boot menu. This is exactly what you want to do, guys. And this is the screen which you should be getting. And when you see a screen like that where it says, please select boot device, you're going to go on to enter setup. Yeah, this is where you want to go. You want to go into your BIOS. It's going to tell you like everything about your PC and all that stuff, boys. So therefore, pretty much once we're in here, you know, this is like already like the first successful step. Just press something like F12, F9. It can also be like F6. It really always depends like which type of motherboard you have. If it's like from Gigabyte, Astrog, all that stuff, guys, MSI, you know, they all have it like a little bit different, but it should show for like a small second actually on screen. So therefore, if you guys don't know it, just Google it or restart your PC, read it maybe real quick. And if you're too slow, you're just gonna restart it again. You know, it's like super easy. So, and once you guys are in here, you can see here, we have a few options. We have MIT, System, BIOS, Peripherals, Chipset. And it should be normal here under MIT, guys. And there you can see in the first place here, advanced frequency settings. Then we can also see advanced memory settings, advanced voltage settings, PC health, and some other settings, guys. But the only thing which you actually only have to care about is advanced memory settings. And that's also the one which we're gonna select. You can do it here straight up on your keyboard. And you can see, guys, right now that my RAM is normally working here on 3000 megahertz. I do have it overclocked to 3200 megahertz, but I'm not gonna do that, guys. We're just gonna keep it like to the stock one. I have usually 16 gigs of RAM in my PC, but since I'm doing so many benchmarks, I always like take 16 out. So it's like a more realistic result since most people have actually 16 gigs of RAM. And you can see here, my auto one would normally be to 3000 megahertz. It's like HyperX Predator RAM. And you can see it guys, it says here on the side, XMP high frequency support. Yeah, I'm just gonna zoom in. You can see it here perfectly. So guys, and pretty much this is the only one we have to worry about. And you can see here, XMP high frequency support. And once we go to the right side, we first of all here have profile one. This is the one which you should select. And then we can see now next to XMP high frequency support that we can select here something. Yeah, And usually it should be like turned off or I don't know, some other stuff, or it should be on like level one, level two, level three. And we just simply gotta put it onto auto guys. This is like the only one we actually have to care about and system memory multiplier, you're also gonna keep to auto. And you can see here just straight up that my RAM is working at its fullest supported speed, which is 3000 megahertz, you know. I'm not gonna count now overclocking in there whatsoever. This is just simply to make sure that your RAM is also working on like 100%, since there's so many people who don't even have their RAM on 100%. And therefore guys, you can see here, 3000 megahertz, it's working perfectly fine. So what we can do is pretty much just straight up here, go onto safe and exit. And then you're gonna have like here this little uh, menu. It might look a little bit different for you since you have like a different motherboard brand maybe. But for me, it just says here, safe and exit setup. This is like the one we're gonna do. And then it's gonna ask us here, safe and reset, safe configuration and reset. Yes, we're gonna click on the yes. And our PC is just gonna straight up restart and all these settings are applied successfully. And you also made sure that your RAM is gonna work on 100%. And yeah hey guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace. That shit too light Big foreign hoe come get inside Dami Gucci Lee come take a dive